Today I will show you the difference between the opacity and the fill slider in Photoshop. And guys, as you can see, there is no some interesting intro for this episode and probably there will not be for a few future ones because right now I'm working on a few big projects for clients and unfortunately I don't have time to make those intros because they're really time consuming. Sometimes it took me the same amount of time to make the intro as I spent to make a tutorial. So I hope that you understand it. But don't worry, they will be back after I finish all my projects. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to another fun episode. You sent me a request to explain you the difference between the opacity and the fill slider in Photoshop, so here it is. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, here in the layer tab we have two sliders, one is for opacity and another is for fill. And let me first explain you what those sliders are doing to the layers and then I will show you some examples. The opacity slider, as the word suggests, will change the opacity of the layer. So it will make layer more transparent or more opaque, depends what are you doing with the slider. And it will change the opacity of the layer, the layer content and all things that are attached to the layer. So all the layer styles and blending modes. On the other hand, the fill slider will change the opacity just of the layer content. So just the content that the layer is filled with. So that's why it's called fill. And it will not change the opacity of other attached things to the layer like layer style. So let me show you that on a real example. If we select a woman layer and go to opacity slider and lower the opacity, you can see that the woman will become more and more transparent until it's completely invisible. And now if you go to a fill slider and lower, decrease the fill, we will have exactly the same result because now we are changing the opacity of the layer content. So because here the content of this layer is just a woman, we are doing exactly the same thing. But if we attach some layer style to this layer, for example, if we double click here and add a shadow, maybe drop shadow to the woman and move it left and right, maybe somewhere here, just for example, and say, okay, maybe make it more opaque and say, okay, now if we lower the opacity, we will again lower the opacity of the layer and all the things that are attached to the layer, in this case, all the effects. So, as you can see, same result. But now if we lower the fill, we will have completely different results. We will just change the opacity of the layer content, so just of the woman, and everything that is attached to the layer, in this case, the drop shadow effect, will stay intact. And this is great because now you can use this to make some interesting effects for your photos. It is completely the same with the text, brush strokes, etc. So basically any layer content you can change differently with the opacity and the fill slider. So let me show you now the example with the text. If you go right here and type some text, for example, opacity. Okay, and make it bigger with control command T, just make it bigger. And now we can position it wherever we want and we can change the opacity or the fill from those two sliders, but we can go and add some layer styles. If we double click on the layer, we will have layer styles dialog box and under the blending options, under this tab, we have again opacity and the fill slider. So they are completely the same. If we change this to 46, we will have 46 here. If we change this to, I don't know, 53, we have 53 here. But here I like the name better because here says fill opacity, which means that we will change the opacity of the content that the layer is filled with, just the change the fill opacity. And now if we add some blending styles like uh, drop shadow and move the shadow somewhere and maybe add a stroke just for fun, maybe make the stroke black. And now if we lower under the blending options, if we lower the uh, fill opacity, you will see just the content of the layer will be transparent and everything else, all the effects will stay the same. So we can change the shadow, we can change, add something else, maybe color overlay, maybe we can add the uh, outer glow, I don't know, anything and press OK. So we have this and we can play with this. And of course, you can always bring back some fill. So if you want to change just the fill of that layer, this is how you can do. Let me show you now another example how you can use the fill slider to make some watermark for your images. Right, let's go to another image, this for example, and we will type just simple text. Let's type my name, Nemanja Sekulic. Okay, and press, okay. And now 
I will make it a little bit bigger just for you to see this better. And if I want to make uh, something like a watermark out of this text, this is really easy. Let's double click on the layer. I will lower the fill all the way down and then I will add bevel and emboss. As you can see here, let's zoom a little bit. There is already something. I can go back to effects, double click on the layer and maybe I can change bevel and emboss, maybe the size of it. Maybe I can add some outer glow to it, but not that color, maybe white color and maybe lower the opacity and maybe put it in a screen blending mode or even overlay blending mode. So just if I want to do that, it's option. You can be creative, do whatever you want. And maybe I'm done with that. So now I can just press and hold alt key with uh, moving tool and just add those layers all the way if I want to protect my image. So this is one way how you can make a watermark, just lower the fill and add some layer styles. And that's it. If we go back with the fill, we will have our, our color back. Right now, let me show you another example how you can use that difference between the opacity and the fill to add some effects to your images. All right, let's go to another image and let me show you some effects. For example, we want to make those leaves a little bit brighter and warmer. And of course, you can do this in Photoshop in several different ways. But today I'm showing you how you can do that using a fill slider. So let's create a new empty layer and let's fill that layer with some warm, bright color. For example, actually we can use this orange too, why not? So to fill it with the foreground color, you need to press Alt or Option and Backspace and that's it. Now I will add a layer mask here and we'll just mask out this whole of the heart shape. So I don't need this. I just want to impact, impact all other leaves and that's it. Now if we lower the opacity, we will have not so interesting result. If we lower the fill, again, we will not have so interesting result. We will have exactly the same like we did with the opacity slider. But if you change the blending mode, for example, if you change it to color dodge, we will have some crazy effect. And this effect is of course too much. It's not nice at all. So we need to change something. If you lower the opacity here, mm, it's not so good either. It's a little bit darker and washed out. I don't like that. But if you change the fill slider, something nice will happen. Fill slider will give us much better results. So maybe even more. And now before and after, before and after, like the sunlight's hitting those leaves. So you can change, lower the fill even more. We will still have a great result. And that's because the fill slider will impact some blending modes differently than opacity slider. And you can see all those examples in my blending mode tutorial, you can find the link right here. Another uh, thing, if you want to darken this opposite than uh, color dodge, you can set to color burn and you will have exactly same effect. So before and after, like there is a little bit more dark right here. So you can lower the fill even more and you will have similar effect, darker, but warmer. So crazy effect. Another example is with a hard mix difference and so on and so forth. Check my tutorial about the blending mode and you will see how other blending modes will work with your images. Right guys, that's it for today. I really hope that you like this tutorial and that you understand the difference between the opacity and the fill slider in Photoshop. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. Practice, experiment, have fun. And of course you will see when and where you can use advantages of those difference between those two sliders and you will make your images even better. If you want to help me to make this channel even bigger and better, you can do that by visiting my Patreon page. The link is down there in the description. And of course, you will get some things in return. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes. And if you appreciate the content of this episode, please hit that like button because it actually matters. It's good for the channel. Thank you guys and see you in the next fun episode. Bye bye. So maybe this is a little bit confusing for somebody, but this is how it is, guys.